Well, that's me. I'm Rodney, and this is my story. Ten years ago, I didn't have to worry about anything but me. I was working hard on my education, and at night, I was pursuing my dream of being a comedian by telling jokes in bars where you were paid in free beer, if you could catch it. Over time, I developed kind of a following, and her name was Trina. She got pregnant. <laughs> Twice. Being married was the best thing that ever happened to me. But it meant I had to give up my dream and take a lousy job with a steady paycheck. <clears throat> or maybe it was a steady job with a lousy paycheck. But we all make sacrifices for the ones we love. Well, yesterday, my story took a little turn. I quit my job, and I had a one-night stand with my old dream. Now, my wife doesn't know anything about this yet. But I figure what she doesn't know can't hurt me. Eating baby chickens who never had a chance Won't grow up to have feathers who wear no chicken purse. Jack Bo, come on, I gotta get to work. Hey, honey. Morning. Hi. You were out late last night. Yeah, I was playing darts with Barry. You can call and ask him. Oh, no, I trust you. Not like this couple I just saw in Good Morning America. Yeah. The husband quit his job and didn't tell his wife and thought she wouldn't find out. <laughs> Can you believe that? <laughs> Why'd you quit a perfectly good job at the fiberglass plant? I didn't. I quit a big crappy job at the fiberglass plant. <laughs> Trina, Dwayne was going to put me on graveyard. I'd never see you or the boys awake. I can't live like that. Well, how are we going to live like this? We're on one salary now. I'll find a job by next week. I'll find other ways to make money till then. You did your act at the goose last night, didn't you? Damn it, Trina, is there anything that you don't know? Yes, I don't know how we're gonna eat, I don't know how we're gonna pay rent, and I don't know when you're gonna see me naked again. Well, you know, I was kinda hoping this afternoon. <laughs> I'm free. Rodney, don't get sucked back into that life, okay? Trina, what's wrong with being a comedian? That's what I was doing when we met. Peeing on a campfire is what you were doing when we met. Trina, that fire was out of hand and people's lives were in danger. Rodney, you didn't make any money. You told the same old jokes every night. It was just a big excuse to party. Well, I don't act like that anymore, Trina. We're married now. The party's over. <laughs> Oh, he's not off to fighting. Are you ready for your test today, Bo? Rodney, quiz Bo on a spelling. Oh, okay. Bo, let's see. It says here, spell each word and use it in a sentence. Spell ant. A N T. That's good. Now use it in a sentence. Mom told Aunt Charlie you got fired. Now we're gonna starve. <laughs> we're not gonna starve. We'll be fine. Fine and slender. What are those? Oh, I do not know. Let's see. I know it's not until Saturday, honey, but happy birthday. Love me. <laughs> Rodney, <laughs> they are beautiful. I can't believe you actually remembered to send me birthday flowers. <laughs> For once. <laughs> I know I didn't send them. I've been with Trina for 10 years. I never can remember when her birthday is. I swear she changes it on me every year. I can't prove it, but I think last year she had two up. So what are you gonna do for her birthday then? I've been telling Trina for years I'd take her to Hawaii when she turned 30. Now I don't know what I'm gonna do. Well, tell her you take her twice when she turns 60. Hmm. You're up, Dad. Thanks, buddy. <clears throat> well, now, Rodney, I bet you're gonna miss that putt. No, Barry, I promised Trina I'd stop gambling in front of the boys. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll just put up everything I got in my wallet, and uh, you can put up everything you got in your purse. <laughs> Loser eats a pickled pig's foot. Where are you going to get one of those? Walmart. I love that place. That is a man shopping center right there, by God. They got everything you need. They don't care how you look when you go in. I bet you could walk through that place butt naked and nobody say a word to you. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. No, 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 no. You are nuts. Naked at Walmart. You in? Huh? 
Oh, hell yeah, man, you know that. I just, I hate these naked bets. <laughs> Do you, do, you, uh, do, you, do you need a buggy? No, sir. I don't believe I do. Your son, did you know you was naked? Yes, sir, I did. Well, uh, okay, then. You have a good one. <laughs> Thanks. Kind of you to notice. Yeah. Uh... Ladies. Open the door! Open the door! Boys, let this be a lesson to you. This is why you should never, ever gamble. No, you mean this is why we should never, ever lose. I can't believe you actually bought stuff in there. <laughs> Just odds and ends. Hey, are those caramels? <laughs> I'll hand you one. What? <clears throat> uh, Reverend Stemple? I'm not falling for that. <laughs> Reverend Stemple? search go? Great. I'm all but hired over at the hospital. I just need a stethoscope, a medical degree, and I can start in the morning. I'm sorry, honey. Mm. How come you smell like cheap aftershave? Daddy's in the kitchen. Oh, God, Trina. Is he alive? I love me. I wish you wouldn't talk like that. Daddy loves you. He loves trying to make me feel like a big loser. That's what he loves. Hey, how you doing, you big loser? <laughs> How you doing, Carl? Oh, how you doing? I love this part. How's the used car business? Real good. Best quarter I've had in five years. Of course, I understand you got yourself in a bit of a financial pickle, though. <laughs> you you got to be getting used to that by now. <laughs> Daddy, be nice. We're fine. No, you're not. And tomorrow's your birthday. Now, I love both my little girls just as much as the air I breathe. Of course, Charlie still gives me fits with some of these yokel she shacks up with. <laughs> Hell, you think you're a loser. <laughs> anyway, as a gift to my baby girl, on her 30th birthday, when she ought to be heading to Hawaii, but I guess that dream's in the crapper now, <laughs> I've decided to give her Rodney a job. Oh, Daddy, that's so nice. Carl, those are words I've been longing to hear you say. <laughs> that and, oh my God, my left arm feels all tingly. Job, Rodney. It pays money. A used car salesman, Trina? Are you crazy? Gonna have a hard enough time getting into heaven as it is. <laughs> it could be a career. I mean, Daddy's had Buddy Chalmers working for him for 13 years. Yeah, and on a bar bet, Buddy Chalmers will suck his own boob. <laughs> I don't want to spend 13 years in a job I hate. It drained the life out of me. It's the same thing down at the plant. I didn't want to work the graveyard shift, not even with a promotion to foreman. What? Foreman? You mean you didn't just quit? You quit because they were going to promote you to foreman? Well, see? It makes you mad, too. Damn it, Rodney, you always do this. Every time you get close to something good, you sabotage it. You don't want to do anything that would keep you from messing with your comedy. You know, life ought to be more fun than it is. That's all. I just want to provide for you and the boys, and I want to be happy doing it. What's wrong with that? Let it go, Rodney. It is a pipe dream. You live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. You can't be a comedian. That's the first time you ever said that. As long as we've been together, that's the first time you ever said I couldn't do it. So what? Every time you get some crazy notion, I'm just supposed to stand up and clap and support you? Isn't that what we signed up for when we got married? Well, clearly when we got married, Reverend Stemple didn't realize that you were insane. Yeah, well, just so you know, 
He does now. <laughs> I'm telling you, when I'm in a strip club, I'm like a woman in a shoe store. I'm not leaving till I see every pair. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Good night, everybody. You were really good. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. You were really funny tonight, buddy. Really? How come I didn't see you clapping? All right, put the beer down and... <laughs> hey, Bert, let me ask you something. Do you ever regret quitting the fiberglass plant and buying this place? Well, let me see. I'm $200,000 in debt. I work 80 hours a week. I got a bad back from lifting kegs. But what makes it all worthwhile is every night I get to come in here and answer the question, how you get your hair to do that? How do you get your hair to do that? <laughs> got time for a beer, Rob? No, thanks. Trina's kind of mad at me. I just need to get paid, go home, and see if my key still works. Hey, I've been meaning to ask you. Did you ever figure out who gave Trina those birthday flowers? Well, I guess I did. I mean, the card was signed from me. That's how I signed stuff to Trina. I'm the only one who could have sent them. I sent them to myself. You did what? Well, just because Rodney can never remember my birthday doesn't mean I shouldn't get flowers. He may also be getting me a new purse or some jewelry. I haven't made up his mind yet. <laughs> Talked to Daddy today. Uh, you know he only offered Rodney that job to get the upper hand, don't you? I know. That's what Rodney keeps saying. The man loves making me feel like a big loser. Well, he's right. He does. But Trina, Rodney's not a loser, because, see, I know losers. All of them. Personally. <laughs> Can I tell you what happened last week? Mm -mm. This guy took me to a ball game. He ate an entire bag of peanuts, shells and all. Kept referring to it as elephant style. <laughs> Poor thing. Well, the worst part was when he tried to kiss me goodnight wide mouth bass style. <laughs> no, I know that I'm lucky that I have Rodney. I know that. I'm just saying I wish he would get locked into something a little more realistic. Well, Trina, I admit Rodney's a bit of a dreamer, but at least he has dreams. Yeah, but most people eventually let him go. Yeah, well, most people I know are miserable. You know, I saw him the other night at the Goose. He had a lot of new jokes. Couple of new songs. He was working on new material. Yeah, and he was funny. I think he's trying harder this time. Listen, I gotta go. Oh, and I forgot your birthday too. So if you end up getting yourself that purse, just sign my name to the card. <laughs> do you know how hard it is to perform in front of 12 people? No, neither do you. I only counted seven. <laughs> oh, Harry, what am I doing? Listen, Rodney, let me tell you something. Now, I always thought I was gonna be a pro baseball player. So I took a job, save up for college, and I knocked up the boss's daughter, and 20 years later, here I sit. Now, I love my family, and I even have something akin to affection for my wife. <laughs> but there is always gonna be a part of me that wonders, what if? You know, that sounds like my story. Yeah, especially the 20 years later, here I sit part. <laughs> Look, I think what Barry is saying, Rodney, is you got to follow your dream. But just remember, though, life doesn't always turn out the way you want it to. Here's your money. Thanks. Bert, this is $20 short. My point exactly. <laughs> Hang on a second, Bert. Look, nothing I can do, Rodney. You only got 12 people here. Where do you people keep getting that number? <laughs> I need my other 20, Bert. I got a wife who's never been to Hawaii. I got two boys to send to college. Sounds like you got an awful big plan for that $20 bill. <laughs> Sorry, Rob. Hey, funny pants. I didn't like your little comedy skit. Well, ma'am, I'm sorry you didn't enjoy the show. I can't please everybody. <laughs> yeah, well, I paid $5 to get in here, and I didn't laugh once. I like the butter joke. <laughs> we use butter at home. Zip it, Timmy. Timmy, if you're in trouble, blink. Now look, pal, I want my five dollars back. Well, ma'am, I can't do that, but I'll give you a dollar if you quit spitting on me. Now look, you better pay up or I'm gonna pop you. <laughs> ma'am, this is silly. I'm gonna give you three seconds. One. Mississippi. Barry. <laughs> Just keeping her honest. Two. Timmy, if I'm in trouble, blink. <laughs> Three. 
Lord, it's Rodney. I know we ain't talked in a while. Actually, I do all the talking. You never talk. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to sound like your wife. Anyway, I got a question. Should I give up on this whole comedy thing? I just need some sort of a sign. Oh. Okay, then. Oh, hell. How you doing there, Gerald Bob? <laughs> Think my wife's dating a woman. <laughs> Pretty good other than that. <laughs> Blondie, I need to see your license and registration. All right. We had a little disturbance the other day at the Walmart. Do you know anything about that? <laughs> uh-uh. You been drinking? No, sir. All right, Rodney. Step back to the patrol car. Let's see what you blow. Is this because of my driving, or are you just trying to get even with your wife? <laughs> I'm talking about taking a breathalyzer, you sick SOB. Get your butt out of the truck. <laughs> Reverend Stemple? Fighting. Hold hands, look each other in the eyes. Come on. <laughs> you guys are gonna learn to love each other, so if you're gonna fight, we're gonna have a wedding. Dad, this is dumb. No, it's not. Do ye, Robert Bo Hamilton, take Jack here to be your brother. Even when he sits on your chest and tries to spit in your mouth, say I do. I do. Do you, Jack, no middle name Hamilton? <laughs> Take Bo here to be your brother, even though he pees in the bathtub while you're still in it? I guess so. By the power vested in me, I hereby pronounce you brothers. Give me a kiss. <coughs> Come here, boy. Listen to me for a second. You boys are brothers. You're a team, just like your mom and me. Don't ever forget that. I love you, boys. Now, go put your church pants on, because we're going to take some wedding pictures in the backyard. <laughs> go on. You know, the older they get, the stranger that looks. <laughs> Honey, listen. What I said last night... Hang on I... a second. I got something I need to say to you. I'm going to take that job at your daddy's car lot. What? Honey... You and the boys mean more to me than anything. Oh, honey, that is just... Damn it, Rodney. I can't let you do that. You can't sell used cars. Sure I can. I've already bought the ugly pants and the hair dye. Well, I can't let you. I love you, which is apparently my curse in life. And you're no good to me and the boys if you're miserable. What are you talking about? I'm saying that I want you to... go chase your comedy thing. What? Are you serious? I'm not done yet. <laughs> if we're gonna do this, you are gonna go after it this time. And I mean really go after it, like the job that it is. No messing around and no partying. Okay, but if I take that job at your dad's, can I still mess around and party? <laughs> you really want me to do this? I'm not gonna beg you. Get off it. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I'll make this work, I promise. Okay. Mm. I got something I want to show you. Come here. Come on. Mm. Yeah, you done good, buddy. Thank you. I got to tell you something, Rodney. I was stationed at Pearl Harbor for two years, and I'll be damned if this looks anything at all like the Hawaii I remember. <laughs> yeah, well, Carl, I couldn't exactly recreate a whorehouse in my backyard. <laughs> Happy birthday, sis. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, is that your date? Yeah. <laughs> wow, 
He really does like to eat peanuts elephant style. You won't believe this, but that's not the same guy. You are so sweet. Thanks, honey. I know it's not Hawaii, but I tried. No, this is the best gift that you could have given me. You're welcome. And you know what else? Mm. You're welcome for them flowers, too. They're beautiful. I love you. I love you. You big liar. <laughs> Think I'm dancing with a man. She's got calluses on her hand. She's got a voice like Johnny Cash. Is she hiding a mustache? I think I'm dancing with a man. <laughs> Why do you just assume everything has something to do with me? Heavenly.